It is um, Kimberly from Hawaii and we just named this little colt. He was born one of the days when we were here for the colt starting course in April. So he's several months old now and he's been called Captain Dash. And his issue's been just preparing him for the trailer. And so Kimberly's got him ready with the leading piece and also going over the tarp. He's going to go over the board today if I follow him around you'll see this there's the trailer he's going to be practicing with and over here we just have the board for the step up to reenact that to get him comfortable with it so he's been quite a loose cannon it's going to be interesting to see how he'd do today for his lesson oh, no. as Zunka takes the weight for Vienna and prepares her for the farrier with this stretch which will be for actually rasping and very close Pretty beautiful. So we've got our forward motion, which is his concern stepping up to the trailer. So this is really neat to just see that he's beginning to get the confidence in himself to be able to move back and forth. So it's a great combination. Lots of praise. You can just see him drifting his thought pattern occasionally. And one of the main keys to this is keeping that focus that he realizes we're going forward so you can feel it touch it look around but then remain focus on what's coming which can be a little challenging for these little guys if they've never had that This is Bo, he's going to be our pony horse for the day. He was when we were colt starting. And he's going to help with River. River's a restart. And when River came to Shiloh to Amber two years ago, he was afraid of his own shadow. And she's basically given him a lot of time off respite so that he gets comfortable in his own skin, gets a chance to recuperate. He's a Western horse. We're getting to know him, finding out what he knows. He's been tacked up today. Yesterday he was restarted, tacked up today. He's gonna to be ponied today. You can see a little bit of concern there with River. And with him, a lot of it is his eye, truly in the eye. So as he gets more comfortable, and it might be another pony horse, it could be the height, it could be a memory. But every now and then you see the tension build when he does remember something from his days. So you can see him come around with a lot of, lot of, lot of reward, a lot of petting, a lot of comfort, and waiting for him to come around so he knows it's okay. He's not going to get hurt. So we're looking for River to to go a little further forward. His nose at Kimberly's knee, and we're taking the rule of thumb that he shouldn't go beyond the butt at this time. He'll gradually find his way to the correct position. So here they come. They're going to take a few of the obstacles get comfortable in this arena before they go out on a little trail ride. So it's good to get them comfortable with at least a few obstacles here in the arena so that the rider is comfy and connected and that they know that they can take a few things on the outside when they go to leave. There we go. Better? Stay in the shoulder, stay in the shoulder. Good job, good job. So today you can join us on the trainer's exams and this is Anka and Adam with Vienna at Shiloh Acres Ranch in Fort Collins. And although you couldn't follow all of the four days of this course so far, you can follow this part of the day 
and Vienna's had issues picking up feet for the farrier, particularly the hind feet, and here you see her making progress. This is actually the first day we're using food as a reward. We have not done that, and we've trained her that she can stand still now to pick up the feet, um, but we're taking it one step further, and the issue that's really developed is the one that she does not hold her weight. Zenka's having to take like 200 pounds and you're seeing that when he's trying to pick up the foot. So we've got options. One option is to encourage her with positive reinforcement to actually hold her own weight, um, reward the tries which we're doing. We could use negative reinforcement which would in fact be backing her up when she's not using her weight. That's commonly known in the industry. So you're seeing some of this just being developed. We've come a long way from kicking out and thrashing out to standing still and we'll improve even more today. time that she's had her saddle on and the first time went well with Zunka we put the racing saddle on um, but previously she has had a western saddle on and it slipped actually during the starting process so it's been imperative to restart her and make sure this experience goes well and calm um, and we're looking for some turns occasionally when she manages to turn in you see her get very expressive and upset on those inside turns where the outside turn she actually remains rather soft. Um, I don't know if you're gonna see an inside turn, she sometimes opts for it, it's a delicate situation. She's now getting the message for those outside turns, which will help us for the ground driving as well. So we're looking for her to stay calm, relaxed, acknowledging head drops, paying attention, licking and chewing, that she has a good experience in here and preferably doesn't look to leave, but actually looks to connect. Just a second long lining sesh, she's got the bit in, but we're long lining off of the halter. And it's funny, she actually showed everybody just that. She's getting a... Oh, it's the first I've just been told. That's funny, I somehow thought we'd done it last night. So this is particularly special, she's learning the left and the right. She's learning to figure out the bit, but the bit is more the distraction from the saddle, as is the long lining is the distraction from the bit. And she's having to figure things out. But Scarlett actually loves to figure things out. She doesn't like to stand still. She has a great toolbox as to how she behaves. And the person handling has to be pretty effective to work with her. As you can see there, she's trying to figure out forward, but if you're not assertive enough, she turns that into coming to the handler or the trainer. So it's that soft hand and the clear direction that really helps her to get that fluidity in the forward motion. Here with the improvement. So here's Vienna and we're getting so much better just being able to approach and get ready to mount. You can't see him, he's Zenka's belly. Huge, huge improvement. <laughs> Another line and bridle? Yeah. Most fun was a six month old baby whose name is now Dash or Captain Dash. Captain. And he achieved loading in the trailer three times, no problem, step up, jump in, jump out. <laughs> River, on the other hand, was begging for someone to bond with, and I felt like we really bonded well, and it felt really good in my heart, so that was probably the best, the biggest achievement. Having two blue toes from Vienna is the biggest fun. <laughs>